Shane Dawson is back on the internet and Trisha Paytas is kind of regretting ever ending their friendship with him. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Exposed. Exposed. Before we get into the tea, I just want to let you guys know today's video is very kindly sponsored by Adam and Eve. Right now, you can use code SPILL to get 50% off of one item in your cart and free shipping to the US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. The great thing about shopping with Adam and Eve is they have 24-7 customer support, discreet packaging, and 90-day hassle-free returns. My favorite thing, though, is the fact that they donate 20% of their profit to help fight the spread of HIV. Once again, that's code SPILL for 50% off of one item in your cart and free shipping to the US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. Thank you, Adam Need, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into the tea. So, earlier this week, Shane Dawson finally made his big comeback to YouTube after over a year being offline. It's been a few days since he posted his comeback video, and it looks like a lot of people are actually kind of happy that he's back. His video has nearly 300,000 likes and only 45,000 dislikes. Kind of shocking for someone who had probably one of the biggest cancellations in YouTube history. His video has already passed 3 million views, and it's been on the trending page for days now. Not only that, but all the comments under his video are positive. Of course, that's not a true representation of everyone's opinion, because some people don't even want to click on his videos to leave a negative comment. In some people's view, a comment, a view, or even a dislike is all engagement. Most of the comments are probably coming from those fans that will love Shane no matter what he does. A lot of people actually think Trisha Paytas had something to do with Shane returning. Trisha played a really big role in Shane's second cancellation earlier this year. Shane was getting ready to return to YouTube, Trisha was talking about Shane's return plans on Frenemies, and then things kind of went downhill. Trisha felt betrayed by Shane when he pretty much picked Jeffrey's friendship over Trisha's. Jeffrey and Trisha weren't on the best of terms after that disaster Vegas trip, and even though Trisha confided in Shane about the whole situation, he continued his friendship with Jeffrey. They finally had enough and snapped all over the internet. Trisha was doing videos calling him out, they were using their huge platform on Frenemies to drag him, and Shane was literally cancelled all over again. This wasn't just a normal fight between friends. Trisha was done with Shane. They were exposing him, calling him evil, saying he sold his soul. Just sent. I was just sent voice memos from Shane. His own voice. Sh talking me. Like, there was no coming back from the stuff that Trisha was saying. Trisha blocked Shane and Rylan on all social media. They made so many tweets, so many videos, and so many TikToks. They were just completely done. Well, Shane coming back to the internet made Trisha forget everything they've ever said about him only a few months ago. Trisha did one of her members only live streams the other day and people were flooding her comments about Shane's return. Someone in the live stream asked Trisha what they thought about Shane getting so many views on his return video because they were really annoyed by it. I was expecting Trisha to maybe go off about how Shane is canceled and how no one should be supporting him because he's evil, but Trisha almost seemed to want Shane back. I'm so upset Shane got so many views he needed to stay canceled. Here is my take on this. And like, honestly, again, I'm trying not to talk about people in general. I was like, I think everyone makes mistakes. I think everyone deserves to be forgiven. I feel like, you know, everyone deserves second, third chances. And it's like, you, like as a public figure, do you have to give that? No, if you don't like him, you don't like him. But, you know, I, he has something that is just very charming and magnetic and people like him. And I think, again, I think like, no, who wants to put anyone in a dark place? Again, if you don't want to support him, I totally understand that. It's like people with me. I understand why people don't want to support me and it's totally fine. But like, I do believe like second, third, fourth chances. So all right, I'm just going to read a pretty big switch from claiming that he's evil and sold his soul for money. A lot of people think Trisha saw how much support Shane was getting on his first video back and now they want to jump back on the Shane train. Trisha is just trying to latch on to someone who's on their way back in. If the word hypocrite was a person, 
because Trisha wants to be liked again, so she's trying to ride Shane's second, third, or fourth chance. It's pretty obvious why. He's back on YouTube and she wants money and attention. Why would you want to be friends with someone who tried to destroy you, regardless of what Shane did? She doesn't need to make video after video of her saying what a terrible person you think someone is and then expect them to want to be friends again. It just really seems like fake positivity. Trisha's been trying to keep up with this positivity streak because I think they want no drama to mess up their wedding day. But it's just coming off as completely fake. When Trisha first got the courage to end their friendship with Shane, they had Ethan to fall back on for support and friendship. Ethan replaced Shane and he really supported Trisha through that whole friendship breakup. It just seems like now that they don't have Ethan, they're maybe regretting exposing Shane all over the internet and losing that friendship for good. Other people think Trisha probably just has a soft spot for Shane since they were friends for what, 10 years? One person said, I think people forget that they were best friends for 10 years. I'm not surprised she has a soft spot for him. She was going hard trying to protect him until he betrayed her for Jeffree Star. Personally, I feel like Trisha and Shane will never be friends again. Even if Trisha wanted to make up with him, I just don't see Shane accepting them back in his life. Trisha really let their true feelings out about Shane, which I mean, good for them but it did get him canceled all over again, and they even dragged his fiance, Ryland. Once you drag the fiance, I feel like it's kind of hard to come back from. I really think Trisha is maybe starting to realize how many friendships they've destroyed, and maybe seeing Shane back on YouTube in his new life that she's not a part of is making her regret burning that bridge. But I mean, let's be real. If Frenemies was still a thing, Trisha would have had an emergency live episode and dragged Shane for his return. Speaking of frenemies, Ethan also had something to say about Shane's big return. He really didn't like the fact that Shane's trying to force this whole spooky haunted thing. Wait, this is the first part of a series. Like, dude, it's, the actual content itself is just so miserable. I guess I'm not a genre of the spook genre, but like this is particularly bad. He he moved to uh, Colorado or mm -hmm. somewhere, and it's like the dude is so desperate to make things spooky. It's like, dude, you're in Colorado, living this peaceful, beautiful rural life, and all this. It's like you're not gonna find any haunted uh, ranches. I don't I don't know, but it just the whole plot is just seems so silly. And you know, it's kind of true. I feel like every house they move to, they always claim to have like a demon or a ghost in their house just for the content. It reminds me of ghost story YouTubers that always manage to move into these haunted houses and have enough ghost interactions to make three videos a week. It just kind of feels forced. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Trisha is just trying to wiggle their way back into a friendship with Shane? Or is it all a part of their no drama act? Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.